The file browser in Blender has been improved quite a bit. That's thanks to the ongoing efforts of creating an entire asset manager right inside Blender. The first thing I'd like to show you is how you can list the contents of subdirectory right at once. And to do this, go up here and then for example, one level. Now I have the contents of all the subdirectories, but I can also go two levels, which will show also the contents of the subdirectories of the subdirectories and even up to three levels. And this now means that I, for example, can take a look at all the fonts I have in on my system at once. And the gap here, I think it's a bit wide, but I can make it smaller now by going up here and then tiny or small or normal or even large. And of course, this also works in detailed view. And one thing that has been removed from detailed view are the owner and permission of a file or a directory, because those are specific to certain OSs like macOS or Linux, and for example, not available in Windows at all. And so they have been removed to make the file browser OS agnostic, which means that it will show you exactly the same, no matter on which operating system you are. Now, let me go to thumbnail preview mode and make this a little smaller. And you see how all those thumbnails have been created in a breeze, which is pretty nice. And also the amount of RAM it requires has been reduced greatly. Now let me select one and I can now move around with my arrow keys, which is also pretty nice. And holding down shift and using the arrow keys allows me to select multiple at once. And going back with the arrow keys will deselect again. And I can also hit shift and control and the arrow keys and this way select entire rows at once. Now let me simply select this one, open or cancel. And you see that my scene here is not really populated. So let's append a few things. And what I'm going to show you now will also work when you link. So I will choose append. Here I'm having quite a lot of Blender files. And, I and now I can also show all the content of all those Blender files at once by going to here to Blend File. And I can even show the contents of Blend Files in subdirectories by selecting the appropriate levels, but let's keep it at Blend File. And now you see that there is quite a lot of things shown and maybe I only want to see objects. For this, I can fill the things up here. And this one, for example, will only show me groups and objects. And if I want to narrow this down even more, I can go over there to filter. And here you see that this one is actually for groups and objects. And now I can also deselect groups and really only show objects. So remember, here you have the most important options. And if you want to go finer, go here to filter. And here now you see that a few of those objects have small previews and others don't. But before I show you how you can generate those previews, let me show you that you can now append multiple data blocks at once. And you can append them even when they are from different blend files. So these things here are from totally different blend files and I can append them all at once by going append from library. And now my scene is nicely populated. Now let me show you how you can create these data block previews. Let me first create a new file, delete the default cube, add something else like maybe a torus and then go shading smooth. Then I will save it. And then I will go to file, data previews first, refresh data block previews, then file, data previews, batch generate previews. Now let me simply save it again. And then I will create a new file and append and here in untitled blend and object and then this here this um, thumbnail preview and now i actually have a small preview of the toros i just created which is pretty cool and this works for objects groups scenes and materials pretty pretty cool